Okay, today I thought we would look at foot angles specifically um, in the squat. That's a subject that comes up quite often, whether we should be squatting with our feet turned in towards parallel or whether we should be squatting with our feet turned out towards 45 degrees. Um, so just a bit of running commentary on about 10 lifts here. First lifter coming out now. I'll explain a few things as we go. So we can see flat shoes, not a huge amount of foot angle there, fairly close to parallel. Stays in the groove well, fairly decent squat. So the, uh, the particular squats we're looking at here are the second attempt squats from the 2015 IPF welds in the under 83 kilo class. Uh, why are we looking at these particular squats? A few reasons. Um, first up, I actually did this video using the 2016 Super Cup of Titans squats. They were all 400, 450, and there was a 485 attempt at least. Um, okay, we'll just come back to that. So we can see a little bit more foot angle here, Olympic lifting shoes. Knees come in. So it's interesting to see from the most flared foot position we've seen the knees cave in. Whether that's glutes or whether that's foot position, I'm probably more inclined to say that's glute activation than anything. Um, as I was saying, I was going to do this video with a super cup squat, except they're all heavy weights and they're all squatting 450 equipped. Um, I don't think that's hugely relevant to most people. Um, taking the 83 kilo class from the IPF is probably more relevant and applied to everyday training for us normal folk, so to speak. Us that aren't competing at Super Cup Titans level, which would be nice, but we're not. Interesting, this particular lifter is coming out without wrist wraps on, which is something I find interesting. Pretty much everybody's competing in wrist wraps these days, bar none. Um, and also you can see that he does have a fairly flared elbow position, so he's not using the elbows tucked towards the rib cage positioning. He's using the drive, drive the elbows up and then push the bar into the back. And you can see, particularly relevant to this video, he's running a fairly open foot stance, stance here. So he's close to 45, opens the knees up well, gets a little bit forward and a little bit out of the groove, but he managed to drive his knees out hard. You tend to see in the guys that will drive their knees out, coming out of the hole, they're the one that chest will come down. It's It sounds a bit of an oxymoron, but... The harder you drive your knees out, the more inclined your hips are to come back, and that'll push, push your chest forward. Um, now we see Amir from Australia, 252.5. Always good to see Australians competing at a world level. Um, anyone who's watching this, this video or listening to this video outside of Australia, you need to understand that geographically it is expensive for us Australians to get to the world level. It's not like flying around Europe where you can buy $50 airfares. Or it's not like getting from a couple of states across America. We get stooged in Australia. It's not cheap at all. Even our domestic airfares are expensive. Okay, so we see a mere setting up here. You can see he has a very tight hand position. In tight, he has in turn he has a very tight elbow position. So his elbows are pulled in towards his rib cage. He's running flat shoes and a very parallel foot position here. Doesn't open the knees up. Shifts to the left a lot. That shifting looked like it came more from his torso than, than from anything around his hips or, or his legs. Um, so maybe that was just, maybe he just got a little bit off balance. I don't know. I guess he'll, he'll know that before we will. Uh, moving up to the Russian, 260.
Okay, so we're looking at his foot position here. He's probably closer to 45, opens up. One thing you notice is the way that he's looking up the whole time. Um, when you look at the Russian weightlifters, they, the, the guys that are, that are all squatting in a high bar position anyway, which is obviously significantly different to a powerlifting uh, position in point of view, they're all looking up towards the ceiling when they squat. If you want to see it really graphically, watch Klokov squat. That guy has his head pretty much vertical towards the ceiling. Now, the interesting thing to come from that is we've just seen that same head position here at the IPF Worlds, but in the previous video that I may or may not publish later, the, Ru the Russians at Super Cup all had a really neutral head position. Right, now we have another Russian out here on the platform, so let's just, let's just take stock on that. So you see a water hand position, elbows are pushed back, which pushes the bar in towards the back, wide foot stance, so he's pointing his toes out, opens the knees up, neutral head position, gets buried, gets rat trapped under that. Good job from the spotters there, thank you spotters. Anybody who's ever actually taken the time to spot at a powerlifting meet will know that it can be a scary job at times. You've got dudes out there squatting stupid amounts of weight and you're responsible for their safety. It's it's not something to take lightly. Like, it's a hard gig to do. And I definitely have a lot of respect for these guys that, that volunteer their time and, and so people like me can go out and lift. People like you and me, I should say. Okay, next lifter from Ecuador. Wouldn't mind going to Ecuador, actually. Sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? Setting up fairly parallel in his foot position there. Slightly wider, wider hands. Elbows in tight. Shifts a bit on the way down, but manages to correct it. So you've got a bit of lateral shift getting into the hole, but managed to correct it. Uh, one thing we're seeing on a hole is the guys that flare the feet out are the ones that open the knees up more. The guys with the parallel feet tend not to open their knees up as more, um, which flies in the face of Kelly Starrett. So if you're a K-Star fan, if you're a subscriber to K-Star, might want to have a chat with him. I know I... I am a big fan of K-Star's work, but I think he's wrong on his foot position. Uh, so this is the last squat we're going to look at today. World record attempt out of New Zealand. And see, this guy's got a beard. Apparently that makes a difference in this world. If you have a beard, you get internet credit or some shit like that. So I was saying... Fairly narrow, fairly close in on the feet. Gets the air. Head back, drives the head back. Doesn't open the knees hard. And then just runs out of talent. That's it. That's all I've got today. Hope you enjoyed listening. And uh, I'll do this another time. I'll do this with more lifts. Cheers.